Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another interesting episode on your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So in our previous day videos on Grafana, uh, I have explained about how to add the Grafana to the command, I mean uh, to the path and uh, by that you can uh, recognize the Grafana commands and then in the second video I have explained about how to reset the uh, password so in case if you are facing these issues and if you want to see the solution for that you can watch my previous videos and in this video we are going to see how to add the MySQL as the data source for Grafana and after this I mean after this video uh, in our next video we will see how to uh, connect uh, the JMeter with uh, Grafana and having MySQL as the databases and we will see how to monitor the application but for that before that uh, this part is very important because you have to connect your mysql grafana and for that um, here we have the add your first data source and then clicking on this you can choose the data source and before we move on to this video this is me Othan Shanmugam I welcome you all to our little slow youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and if you have any comments or any feedback please do add that in the comment section and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends and coming back to this video um, here you can see several databases for example uh, we have uh, multiple time series databases like Prometheus we have Graphite we have InfluxDB and in fact if you all know um, I have a separate video on how to connect the InfluxDB JMeter and Grafana and then we have created a dashboard we saw about the the metrics and everything and then we have TSDB and then we have Two logging and document databases, one is Loki and the other one is the Elasticsearch. And then we have distributed tracing, which is Jagger, Tempo, and Zipkin. And for profiling, you can use Grafana Pyroscope and Parka. And for SQL, we do have MySQL. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect our Grafana with MySQL. So just have clicked on the MySQL, and here uh, you can see I have the MySQL name which has come uh, by default and then in case if you want to select this as a default database you can choose this but if not you can just unselect or uncheck this button and for connecting the mysql you have to use the local host colon 3306 and that's the host and the port number to connect the mysql and then the database i'm going to use test db and uh, the user and in this example i'm going to use my root password to connect my mysql i'm entering the password so in case if you're using your uh different users uh, who but who has access who has a read and write access you can use that user and in case if you're using a remote databases a remote host uh, where it is set up you can use a remote database remote host here and then in case of sh any session time zone so if in case if you want to uh, set any particular time zone you can set it up here uh, but if you want to have the default time zone you don't worry about that you can just leave it as default and if you want to add any TLS client authentication say for example if you have to add any authentication you can just select this and this will in turn will ask you for the certificates and you can just paste these certificates in here and in case if you have any uh, CA certificates you can uh, paste it here or else if you want to have any t if you have any TLS verification then you can add that here and if you want to skip it and then um, the connection limit so you can have a maximum of 100 so when I say the maximum of 100 open connections to the databases which is you can open 100 connections and more than that will be in the queue and uh, that will be the maximum limit that you can uh, use a maximum number of connections you can establish from MySQL to Grafana uh, sorry from Grafana to MySQL and vice versa and then uh, yeah next time thing is same and uh, so I have given all these details and then I'm going to select save and test so this will uh, select me so you can see here the database connection is okay so only if it is in green and if it says database connection is okay it is I can assure that you have uh, set up set it up correctly and then I have saved and test and then uh, coming back to the top of the screen you can see on the right side you can either do a build a dashboard or you can either click on explore data so for now I'm going to click on explore data and once I click on explore data it will take me to this particular explorer screen where you can see the databases in here uh, I have in fact uh, created several other uh, MySQL connections that's the reason you can see uh, different uh, connections and then this is the one which I've used for my uh, JMIT integration so for now uh, let, let's have this uh, MySQL connection and here you can see what are the other uh, 
I mean, data sets I have or other uh, databases I have, uh, tables I have in my uh, MySQLs, I have MySQL, Performance Schema, Sys, Test DB World, and then if I choose this geometric geometry matrix, that's what I have uh, built for this particular option. And then here I have the geometry results, and then I have several columns to choose for. So I can, in this particular table, I have uh, I have star so which is which will choose all the uh, metric all the tables and all the columns and rows i have the error count table or error, error count column where like, you can see only the error count and in case if you want to see the id you can just select this id so for now i'll just choose the star button and then the aggregate uh, aggregation i can choose average or count so instead of us uh, i mean group the column i can group them by error count so you can add several options here so it's just you can give a lot of customizations and then in case for, ali uh, for aliases like in case if you want to add any aliases you can even add that as well and apart from that if you want to filter any values you can add this filter filter by column so for example if i want to choose like and id equals any particular number if i enter it then that will be the filter and in case if i want to add any order so i want to order by uh, error count or if I want to order the ID I can even give the result so you can have all these options and after adding all these you can click on the uh, run query so in case if you have any values it will be returned here but now for in this scenario we don't have any values so it returns zero series returned now and then in case if you are uh, better if you find yourself better in uh, giving the queries you can very well directly go to the code section on the right side corner you can just click on it and then you can enter the code directly and you can um, find the value so this is how you can uh, efficiently use uh, the mysql connection with grafana this will help you to filter this will help you to find a lot of data in terms of monitoring so with that i come to an end of this video and uh, we'll see in our next video that on how to connect uh, how to use jmeter mysql and grafana for monitoring so until then it's bye bye from us and your favorite little youtube channel take care and bye bye